Hi guys, um, I'm Beth Gellert uh, again, uh, main car park by the um, station and I'm um, going to do uh, Moyle Hebog uh, uh, again. Um, if you see my videos you'll see that uh, the last time uh, I went astray and I ended up um, climbing up a different way. I did make it but the way I came back last time on the video is the way that I'm going up this time. So we start at the um, station and um, just follow the platform through um, weather um, about one one and a half degrees at the moment here uh, summit temperature about minus two um, a bit cloudy light snow showers possible but sunny spells uh, as well so lovely walking weather at the moment this is the um, station path so when you come from the car park you just turn to your right and just follow this path uh, right through. And you follow that path uh, from the station, it just uh, goes straight on through this gate and just follow the path round under the uh, railway. Running water sound. And uh, once you hit the road, just turn left up along the stream. I'd give it to be uh, a bit windier higher up, but it's uh, nice and calm here, and that sound of the running water is fantastic. Second rail crossing. And just make out uh, Moyle Hebog through the trees. There it is. Signposted uh, Rid D is part of the uh, Snowdonia Slate Trail. So uh, when you get to that sign, you turn off onto the gravel path by the old uh, barn or whatever it was. Looks like a barn or something. And then a bit higher up, we go up the ridge. But that's where we go in. And this is where we turn off the yellow arrow. Uh, just follow the uh, path up and we'll go along the ridge and then back up to the top. Lovely day for it, a little bit of a breeze, cool, just right for walking. There you go. These must be old sheep pens. Over the stile. We're just uh, following this grassy path at the moment. Uh, it's a bit indistinct in places, but if you look ahead, you can see where the uh, where the path goes. And every now and again, there's a little signpost with a walking man on it. So heading towards the wall up there. It's a quick view all round. White peaks out there. Big gallop. I just have to uh, stop and take a layer off. It's uh, it's a cool breeze, but it's really warm when you're walking. When the sun comes out, so I can see it's all shaded up there. But uh, I just got my coat and uh, a walking t-shirt on, and uh, that's enough, I think. Now we just keep going. Uh, we've just come through that gate and the path splits at the gate. Looks like you can go around that way as well. Uh, but if you just bear to your left, 
because we want to be heading up here to go up the rocks that way. So, uh, I'll carry on with this one. Right, getting a bit windy now, but uh, that's the path we come up, and now we get to the rocks, it starts getting a bit uh, scrambly. Um, path very unclear, little uh, cairn of stones down there, and uh, you can tell the path with all the little little stones sprinkled over it. So we're basically heading up, and then we go up that way, so we just carry on up this way. So another look at that view now. Spectacular. It's, uh, it's January the 17th today, and uh, on the 21st, well, the night of the 20th, early hours of the 21st, so uh, early hours of Monday morning, is a uh, lunar eclipse. Uh, they call it a blood moon, and uh, it also coincides with being a super moon. It'll be the, the best one for uh, a number of years. So, if it's clear skies, I'm going to head up to Newton Sunday night and uh, see if I can get a look at the uh, super moon and the blood moon. Uh, uh, total eclipse is for about an hour, 0441 to 0543. So, uh, probably be cloudy, but if it's not cloudy, I think I'll head up Snowden overnight and uh, catch a sunrise while I'm up there. Look at that view. Okay guys, that's the uh, way we come up. The temperature's really dropped now. We're heading up here, so there is a little bit of scrambling, but uh, so far it's more just for balance. Uh, there's no actual climbing yet, although it does get a bit steeper at the top. But uh, nothing technical so far. Uh, we just got enough temperatures dropped massively now. I got my hat on and uh, face cover, the gloves. Uh, bitterly cold wind, but still a lovely day. And uh, that's a little bit of scrambling required up here now. And uh, I'm sure we might make it to the top. Yeah, that's the way we just come up. Nothing too difficult that. Uh, quite sheltered from the wind here. I'm going to walk into the wind and just show you the valley here. There's, uh, that's where we're heading up there. But uh, that's the uh, Gallic Forest. Look at that point of view. Fantastic. And now we head uh, we head up this way and make our way up there. It looks steep and uh, it is steep, <laughs> but it is doable. So uh show you what that's like when we get a bit. A little bit of frozen hail uh, here, but uh, it's not too bad. Look at that view now. Bits, but uh, nothing technical, no big drops or anything like that. Uh, see, sort of make your way and then back up that way. It is, uh, it is steep, but uh, not uh, not overly steep and nothing that uh, resembles a climb. Trail is quite good. Uh, evens off a little bit like this. Then you get a bit where you got to just uh, go a bit steeper, but. Uh, Overall, it's a fantastic path. Look at that. It's cold in the wind, but the sun's come back out and it's uh, beautiful. A bit icy in places, but it's uh, fantastic. I'll carry on up that way now. That's the way you just uh, come up and uh, you just pick the best way up. I think if you go further that way, it's a bit easier, but I've just come up the rocks. Uh, I'll just keep going, heading over that way somewhere, I think. 
look at that view out to sea there. Oh. What a view. Just got to be a bit careful now because everything's iced over. It's just starting to, to melt. It's about two degrees at the moment. Uh, as you can see, all the water dripping, but in the shade, it's still frozen. It's quite difficult to uh, walk up rock when it's like that. Uh, we should keep going that way. Start to admire the view for a minute. That's uh, more a shepherd in the distance. Down to the Snowden Range. <sighs> Straight up here now. Uh, this uh, on the grass, this is uh, snow. It's dead soft, easy to walk on. But some of the rocks underneath it are frozen. <laughs> if you step on one, uh, you go flying. But uh, that's quite a steep climb now. Um, you could go loads of different ways, but uh, I think I ended up almost going too far that way, so I come back. I can see I can get her to there and then back along from there. There we go that way. That's the way we just come up. That is a steep climb, that. About two, about two inches of snow on the soft part, and it's really windy up here. <laughs> so, uh, summit that you can see which is the false summit and as you can see it's not the summit the summit's up there but look at that view that is unbelievable is there a better view than that I don't know oh my life look at that Okay, we carry on up this way. Summit inside. Whoa. And there we have it. Moyle Hebog. It's just over two and a half thousand feet. Feels steeper than that though. Now, let's have a look at that view. That is amazing. Look at that. Fantastic. The last time I came up the side there somewhere, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't like to risk it again, especially in the slippy weather. Uh, and then I went back that way. But I can have a wander. I can have some dinner. I can have a wander. Probably make my way back down that way and along along the valley and through the forest. Looks like a nice walk. So I'll have some lunch. Check the map. Uh, I just can't stop looking at that view. It's one of the best I've seen. A... What a view. Yeah. Ah. I work out if that was recorded or not then. <laughs> uh, Right, there's the uh, summit. I'm going to make my way down here, but um, some of this snow drifted by the uh, by the wall is just <laughs> it's just really deep. Stick away, stay away from the wall a little bit. Um, I'm going to head down here and then make my way back down that side and uh, see if I can get back that way. Beautiful day now. I've just dropped off the summit and I'm out of the shelter of the wind and uh, it is perfect. 
Right guys, I've uh, I just followed that wall down, but I don't want to go all the way down there at the bottom, so I'm just going to sort of cut along the side until I can see a way to drop down to the forest and uh, sort of make it up as I go along. Never mind, I can go this way. <laughs> That's quite a good walk actually. I've come down the side of the mountain and I'm uh, just heading up here and uh, I think on the other side of that far rock should be coming back around to where we went up on the other side so we're going to have a look a lovely walk right, that's the way I've come I've been forced lower and lower because of all the uh, rocks so I've got two choices I can all down that way and try and get down there but there's all stone walls or I come to this stone wall uh, or mile, mile heaven goes up there so I want to go that way anyway so I think I'll just make my way that way and coming from that wall I found this little little track looks a little bit more than a sheep trail so uh, heading exactly where I want to go so I'm probably going to end up when I first um, when I first started going up Mole, Sh Mole um, Hebog, it's around there somewhere. Uh, otherwise, I'd have had to have gone all the way down the bottom through the uh, through the forest. So uh, stunning scenery still. Look at that. Going a bit cooler now with that wind. So. We'll see what we get to this way. Well, that's where we scrambled up before. There's a path that comes in from the side there. One goes that way. But uh, there's Beth Gallet down there. So, uh, yeah, one of those walks where you're not lost. You know where you are, you know where you want to get to. But you just have to meander about a bit to find it. <laughs> so, uh, great walk this one. Ten minutes later, and I don't want to go down that path. <laughs> That's really steep to get down. Uh, it takes you away, so I'm going to make my way back up to where we went for the final ascent and back down the way that I came. Uh, a bit easier, I think, that way. Uh, back up this way. Right, I come back up that path and I'm back. There's the first false summit, second false summit. This is the first false summit, and. Uh, Back down the way that I came. Down here. Well, I should stop for a break, guys. Uh, coming down is even worse than coming up. All this uh, loose rock. This is all solid. And all these uh, chunks of rocks down here are all uh, loose. So, not far to go down now. But, uh, stop for a break. My other view of um, Beth Gallet, dead ahead. And uh, sun's coming in now, so it's uh, pretty nippy to be honest now. But uh, what a beautiful day. So, uh, I have something to eat, I'll make my way back down. Still a stunning view, but uh, a lot colder now. <laughs> uh, on the way back down now, past all the um, scambly bits um, just um, when you head back over these bits a bit lower down it is a bit marshy it was all right today because the ground is frozen but uh, if it's um, if it was a warm day and it'd been raining it'd be uh, quite marshy this is a one light field where you come through that gate that we came through um, so just a, a word of warning if you're doing it on a wet day probably will get uh, we'll get wet the snow on the summit on our way down against that wall it came over the top of my boots on a couple of occasions as it all uh, drifted in the wind but uh, there's Beth Gallet probably won't bother doing any more uh, filming now because I have filmed this route once uh, on my last video but uh, I'll just show you you get to the uh, Pahrump tree should we call it here there we go Let's have a quick scan. Oh, 
one of the best days I've had for views, absolutely stunning. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the uh, the next video. You have to watch your foot here, because you trip up or slip on the ice all the time. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And there's our uh, destination down in the valley, Beth Gallet, and I'll see you next time. Hi guys. Uh, said I wouldn't be filming anymore, but uh, just one final shot. Nice cold pints of cider. Um, just a bit about that walk. It is um, quite a steep climb, a lot of loose, loose rocks, and um, a little bit marshy at one point, but nowhere near as bad as anywhere else. Um, it's a cracking walk, but it is quite steep. But coming down is harder than going up. And uh, with the ice today, quite tricky in places. But I uh, recommend the walk and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.